everyone, welcome back to another Sonic Screwdriver video. Today we're celebrating the 59th anniversary of Doctor Who. Yes, 59 years of time and space. So I thought it was about time we finally get round to looking at the rubber toe replicas, 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. And here it is here, sitting inside its lovely aluminium tin that it comes in. You can see here with the Jodie Whittaker era Doctor Who logo on the front there looking rather nice so let's get it out and have a look so the first thing we see once we remove this cover is a letter a document a four document basically some care instructions here tells you a bit about the replica and how to change the batteries exciting stuff like that we also have the beautifully designed uh, certificate of authenticity here, which is looking pretty cool. Um, you can see mine is number 40 out of 250, even though they didn't actually end up doing the full run of 250. But uh, yeah, you can see it's signed by the king of sonic screwdrivers himself, Nick Robato. <laughs> which is uh, cool because like I said in the previous video, I've got a few of these cards where they have not, where Nick has forgot to sign it, but here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Let's see what we'll take a quick look in here. You can see we've got the sonic screwdriver and it's display stand with its attachments, which we'll get out now, take a quick look at. So pop them in, pull the stand out. Take a quick look at that first so here's the stand with its attachments in you can see it looks good and it's sturdy enough so yeah pretty good stand a pretty good stand and just pop that down here get the screwdriver out a moment um you can see actually just like the certificate of authenticity the stand has been marked with the edition number which is slightly faded on the actual stand and also signed by Nick as well so yeah pretty cool moving on to the main event of course the sonic screwdriver itself here it is uh, very cool very heavy a lot heavier than I expected it to be uh, in a good way in a good way it has a real nice weight to it feels like a proper tool even if it doesn't look like one <laughs> So uh, yeah, let's just get it on the stand for a moment here. Ooh. All right, there we go, there's it on its stand. I'll just move the box and things to the side. I'll get that over there. No, we'll pop it, down. pop it down over there. And then we've got the document and the certificate of authenticity, but let's take a look the sonic screwdriver itself now i'll be honest i am not the biggest fan of uh, this design of sonic screwdriver it's not the best let's be honest um but i wasn't too keen on even buying out of this replica uh, to begin with like at all um so much so that i didn't actually buy this um directly from rubber toe I managed to pick this up on eBay earlier this year and honestly I'm so glad I did. Um, like I mentioned a moment ago, Rubberto ended up not doing the full run of 250 of these and of course at first I wasn't really interested in getting one so by the time I decided that I did want one uh, they were out of stock of course. <laughs> So eBay it was, and here we are, here we are. Um, so yeah, like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of this Sonic Screwdriver design, but I am a big fan of this Sonic Screwdriver replica because Nick has just done an amazing job. It's just fantastic. These, these replicas, the attention to detail on them, you know, everything is just spot on. It's, it's just spot on, really. He made them for the show, and he made them for us, you know, just, just like with the other screwdrivers. <laughs> but um, they look great. 
and I'll be honest, like the toy version of this sonic screwdriver does not do it justice at all. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's have a closer look at the screwdriver anyway. Get it to focus there, very nice. You can see, you can turn it around there. Pretty cool. Now the body uh, is a strange, strange shape, <laughs> but it is quite comfortable to hold in hand. And you know, you can even adjust the handle at the back here. You can turn it to the right or to the left, um, depending on which way you're holding the Sonic to begin with, I guess. But yeah, you can turn the handle to hold it a bit more comfy. It's a bit more comfortable to hold, but um, yeah, I just usually keep it like that, um, which is, I think, the right way to hold it, if if there even is a <laughs> right way. But um, yeah, you can see we've got the Sheffield Steel logo on the bottom here, which is probably not going to focus. But you can just see there the famous Sheffield Steel logo, which is, of course, off of one of the spoons that Jodie Whittaker's 13th Doctor uses to build a sonic screwdriver because of course the doctor built this sonic screwdriver out of some scraps which is cool i guess so uh, yeah you can just see the battery compartment there just next to the sheffield steel logo you just take this section off and you've got access to the battery which you'll probably need to do a fair bit because <laughs> the battery doesn't last long in this which takes us on to the features so no sound uh, but we've got several um yellow leds which of course are not working right now <laughs> looks like i haven't got batteries in it um great great let me just uh, let me just fix that okay so there is batteries inside but you know it is i guess it's a bit temperamental <laughs> which isn't the best thing to be saying you know halfway through a review but it doesn't have sound uh, it does have several yellow LEDs that, that go throughout the body of the sonic screwdriver and it lights up rather well so yeah you can see on the other side as well that section as well lights up it looks pretty cool and the emitter probably one of my favorite things about this sonic screwdriver is it rotates a spinning emitter of course you can spin the emitter without lighting it up and it spins a lot faster and where you activate the light it kind of slows it down a bit but we still get that nice rotating action which makes the crystal light up really well uh, obviously you can just light it up uh, without rotating the crystal and that's cool as well so yeah the top button is for activating the lights and the other spins the emitter tip which is cool i'm taking a closer look at the emitter actually if it will focus probably not <laughs> there we go you can see the detailing on there it's pretty phenomenal it's uh, probably the best thing about this sonic screwdriver definitely my favorite thing about it really is the uh, spinning crystal emitter just think it looks uh, really nice with all the mesh wrapped around the crystal there. I think it looks great. But yeah, just just beautiful, really. Just um, just beautiful. So apart from that little mishap we just had with the um, with the lights and sound, I guess. Well, with the <laughs> apart from that little mishap with the lights and. Uh, spinning emitter with the battery uh, I'd say it's a really really good replica uh, it looks much better in hand um, than it does on screen um, like I say the toys really do not do this sonic screwdriver uh, design justice um, but I like it I like it um, it's pretty decent and, and the stand is pretty decent as well it's a good stand it displays it quite well looks good on display with the other rubber toe sonic screwdrivers and yeah overall i'm just like really happy to finally have one of these in the collection um 
obviously they're not available to order anymore so if you were after one of these ebay would probably be the best bet now or uh, email rubber toe replicas and hopefully they'll gain enough interest and nick will do another batch of them maybe even complete the run <laughs> who knows but um yeah there we go that's the rubber toe replicas 13th doctor's sonic screwdriver and yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed and i hope you enjoy the rest of your doctor who day and i'll see you in the next one goodbye